Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when, when we have something like Indian system of numeration, so then there also has to be something like the international system of numeration, which is like accepted globally, where, which can be understood by people throughout the world. Now, how is it different from Indian system of numeration? So let's have a quick look. So here, if you see, initially, the positions are the same. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. But after ten thousands, in the Indian system, we had something called lakhs. But in the international system, we do not have anything like lakhs. We have something like hundred thousand. So basically, here in thousands, you have like three levels. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So we do not have the term lakhs at all. Then next we have million, million, 10 millions, again, 100 millions. And then you have billions, again, it will have 10 billions, 100 billions, and so on. So here, the terminologies are a little different. Now, since these terminologies are different, therefore, the names of the numbers also changes. So let us look at an example. So let's say that we consider this number. Now we will see how, what would be the name of this number as per the Indian system and what would be the name of the number as per the international system so that you know we can have an apple to apple comparison. So let us first look at the Indian system. Now as per the Indian system, how do you locate the position? Let's say this is units, tens, hundreds, this is thousands, this is 10 thousands, this is lakhs, this is 10 lakhs, this is crores and this is 10 crores. So if you have to put commas, basically you would put it something like this, right? So in this case, what would be the name of this number? It would be 87 crores, 16 lakhs, 25 thousands. Now, you need to write it completely, but I'm just writing it in short. So 25,676. Now let us have a look at the international system. Now in the international system, this would still remain the units place tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000. Now what changes is instead of lakh, this is going to be 100,000. This is going to be million. This is going to be 10 million. And this is going to be 100 million. So basically you have these three places representing million and these three places representing thousands. So when you have to write its name, it would be something like 871, 871 million. So 871 million 625 thousands six hundred seventy six So you see there is quite a difference between the name of the same number as per the Indian system and the international system. So in Indian system, whatever we mean by 87 crore 16 lakhs 25,676 is the same as what we mean as 871 million 625,676. So basically, if you try to establish a relationship between the Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration, you will find that 1 million is nothing but it is equal to, it is equal to 10 lakhs. So how do we know that? That's because when you look at this list, where you have 100,000 is where we have lakhs and where you have million is where we have 10 lakhs. 
So from this we can conclude that 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. Now if you try to compare this two, you would actually see that 10 lakhs, wherever we have spoken about 16 lakhs. So that 16 lakhs, what is that? That, that, that goes into millions. So that's why here you have, you see here, you had something like 87 crores, which was actually 871 millions because 1 million is 10 lakhs. Similarly, you can say that 1 billion, which is here, is actually equal to 1000 million. It's because from billion to million, you will have to jump three places, one, two, and three. And for every place, you will have one zero. So billion being a bigger uh, amount, so one billion will be equal to thousand million, which would be nothing but 10,000 lakhs. So if you just remember one million is equal to 10 lakhs, I think you can establish a relationship between uh, the Indian system of numeration and the international system. Now, may, uh, often you would have come across the uh, business page of the newspaper where it talks about that, okay, this company had a profit of say 25 billion dollars or something like that, 450 billion dollars and so on. So now you know what, what is that billion because in our country, we mostly use terms like crores, 50 crores, 100 crores, 1000 crores, we do not talk in billions. So that, that, that difference is because of this different systems of numeration. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.